all right welcome back making a tutorial after a long time and this is what we are making today so this is a fairly small setup yielding a good result according to me basically i have used a volume cube here and have plugged in the noise texture into the density so that i can have a varied results if i play with the color ramps here and if i increase or decrease w value here i can have a fluid like mechanism so without any further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, I am going to take a default cube here. You can take anything, it doesn't matter, press new and search in for volume cube. Get this out, plug this in here. Next in, I am going to spawn in a noise texture, add a color ramp as well, plug this in here. And this goes into density and I'm also going to spawn in a volume to mesh node which is right here and plug this in and now it's time to play with the noise texture right here for best results what I have found use scale to 1 reduce detail to 0 and just get this slider in and you can see we have something forming right at the beginning only and use 4D here. If you play with the W value, you have this effect going on. And if you come right here into volume cube, you will have resolution. This depends upon your PC. I am comfortable with 50. You can do as many as you like. The more, the better. Up next, I am simply going to copy these three nodes, not these three, just these two nodes. And I want to have some thing going on the negative spaces right here. For that simply I am going to use this uh, option called flip color ramp. So that I have the negative spaces right here. Plug the noise texture in. And add in a joint geometry node. And also volume to mesh should be here. Or simply you can plug this right there. I think only one slot works doesn't matter just copy it here plug this there and we have something going on in the, in the negative spaces all right so you can play with the color ramp and you will get this or you can i think we should increase the scale a little bit for better results i think this one is fine if you play with the w value here you get these fluids going in the in the cube all right, for the better results, I guess you can bump up the resolution. Let's go to 60, both of them. Let's see, uh, this is what we have right now. Also, if your system allows, you can add in an extra subdivision modifier right beneath the geo nodes. So you have more smooth mesh going all around the cube. And now let's just set up the scene. I will spawn in a plane first. Let's make it roughly of this size. I will extrude the back edge up. Control A. Apply the scale. Select the back edge. Control B. To bevel it. Let's get, till, get it till there. Make the cube a bit up. Now is the best time to add in a camera let's add it right here let's drag it back i will press n so that i have it facing towards the cube from zero as well 180 all right so that's it let's set up 1080 by 1920 resolution let's grab in one more window here select the camera press ctrl zero numpad zero to zoom it in I basically like to have focal length of 75 mm this is up to you this is my personal preference let's drag this a bit back let's rotate the cube if I press double R I can slightly make it rotate downwards so that I have all three sides visible up next I am going to enable this option called pass part out so that I only see whatever my camera is seeing. And now it's time to set up the lights. I will go into the render view here, switch on the overlay, switch off the overlays and add in an area light, roughly scale it and if you just raise it you can see the edge, just place it right on the edge up there, 
I am going to bump it to 1000. I, I want a really bright scene. Let's get this up. Maybe it's too bright. Let's get it to 800. Up next, I am going to copy it and I'm going to press RY, RX, sorry. Just get it to down. It shouldn't be this bright. It should be along the line of 300. Not too bright. I need some contrast and one more light right from here. For that, I will simply select the light above, copy it, double R to roughly place it on our cube somewhere there, something like that. Let's see if I hide it. Let's see the effect quite fine. Let's increase it to 1500. This should be the brightest light. Maybe it's too much. 1200 works, I guess. Let's increase the size of it maybe something till this so the, so the idea is i have three faces the brightest a bit dim the darkest all right so i have a complete contrast in front of me one final thing before we go into materials i will add in a set shade smooth so that i have a smoother effect going on all around all right this is basically if you can't add a subdivision modifier then this node will do the best all right and now it's time to set up the materials i will select this cube and i will add two materials let's add in one more one is 006 and other, uh, other is 007 add in set material copy it here this should be 006 and this is 007 let's jump into a shader editor right here and use first of all this 006 i think let's make it metallic roughness maybe this will suffice alpha i don't think this is needed for the other material let's jump into 007 was it i guess yep i am going to use a glass bsdf let's plug it in and use a subtle amount of color don't give it a too saturated color it will destroy the whole effect let's take it till let's take it till there let's give it a tint of red something like that okay now let's work on the animation just note that i am working on 60 fps so one second is 60 frames let's make it a loop of around four seconds that is four into 60 to 40 frames i will first of all control a or transform to delta so that my rotations and everything is set to default to make our lives easier let's uh, mark a keyframe on the z-axis here and go to there 359 make it 360 and mark a keyframe one more time and if you press t here just make sure it's linear so that it's moving at a constant speed let's play with the w value here right now while the cube is rotating i will get in a scene time node just plug in seconds and once you press spacebar to run the animation you will realize it's working very slow so so for the sake of the viewport let's decrease the resolution to around 30 maybe let's keep it to 30 here let's run it all right so this is the animation right now and this is how it is moving if you find it too fast what you can do is add in a map node and if you set it to divide and divide it by five maybe maybe two so that the fluent like things are moving a bit slowly that is up to you and once you are satisfied with the motion let's come back here and make it to your appropriate resolution as per your pc allows 60 is fine for me let's go into render mode to finalize it let's come back here and make it a high contrast so maybe very high contrast i think high contrast will suffice maybe play with the gammas 0.8 maybe 0.1 and this is our final render Alright, so this is it. Once you animate it, you will get this. And thank you for watching. Until next time.